guys welcome back to our video and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different so you've probably seen this probably done before if you look at my squirrel hunting video this one's in it um this is the benjamin prowler or whatever <laughs> kind of forgot the name of it but i think that's what it's called and i left so i left it out in the weather for about <laughs> two months probably maybe a month i don't really know so basically right now it needs to be cleaned very bad don't know if you can see that or not, but it is all rusted the barrel. Uh, I'll put a video after this clip right here, and it's just rusted terribly. Even the trigger starting to trigger, like the safety's rusted. It's, it's pretty bad. So I made sure I test fired two times, made sure there was nothing, no pellets in it, just to be safe. So what I have here is I have a new scope in here, some air gun oil in here, pellet gun, whatever. Um, I have a, a camo wrap for it. I accidentally bought this. I don't really know how. I think I put it in the Amazon card. My mom accidentally ordered it without knowing. But either way, it's already here and it's kind of hard to return stuff off of Amazon if you ever try. So, uh, we have some. And we also have some Hops traditional bore cleaner for the barrel. And we have a blow dryer. You're supposed to have a heat drop, a heat gun, or a blow dryer. I don't have a heat gun, so I figured a blow dryer should do. And that's about it. And this is also a wool brush. It just has this blue stuff on it. I guess it's like soap. I don't really know. It's everywhere, so. So, let's see what's in this box. I really haven't looked at the scope yet. I've changed the scope already like two times, but this time I got a. I think it's a three by nine by forty. It's kind of big, but it was really cheap. So I figured even if it doesn't work, cut our losses by like some sites. But I need a good pellet gun for squirrel season. Cause this hunting season, we should have I should have a bunch of videos dropping. But in some places, I'm gonna need a pellet gun. It's just gonna be too loud for it to too. And pellet gun's really favorite. Oh, we also have these cleaning pellets. So this kind of, they don't really make. I mean. You can find them. Oh, this is silicone chamber oil for Crossman spring air gun. Oh, recommend for brake barrel. Okay, I just say. And then here's the scope. So, let's see, in the box. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is the gun is just all around dirty. So we're gonna go get some water on this thing and clean the gun and. I'll put y'all on time lapse and I'll be right back. I can tell that the seal is getting stronger already. I can tell just by cocking it. So we're gonna do one more time with just a straight dry pellet and just a few, um, a few more dry rounds off camera to clean it. Cause these pellets, they really do work. I use this for my old pellet gun and they really do help clean it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing all up, dry it up. And then I will get back to you once this whole thing is clean and we're ready to put the wrap on.
this is going to be our last um, cleaning pellet. And just to show you how much smoke has come out of this gun, I'm going to show you all. Okay, so watch this. Look at all this. It's terrible, dude. Just goes to show how dirty this gun actually was. So, I think we'll be able to make a full restoration on it. It's not going to take one time. I have to keep up with it. But overall, I mean, it's pretty clean. You really just gotta go ahead and, because once you put this oil on it, you need to get a dry rag after and wipe this thing all down. Because whenever you're applying that vinyl stuff to it, you really want to make sure it's the gun's nice and dry. Because if not, it'll just come right off. It doesn't matter how much heat you put on it. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and dry this gun off, and once again, I'll get back to you once we're done everything and once we're actually ready to put the wrap back on. Wow, so I never thought we'd be able to get this gun this clean, boys. So we have this little, that little blue thing I was showing, that little wool brush with the, I don't know, it leaves a blue, I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere it's over here. But it leaves a blue residue on absolutely everything. But whenever I say that stuff works, the barrel is now shiny from that. Like, it has like something on it that makes it shiny. And I don't know what that thing's called, but I would highly recommend using it because it works extremely well. So, we got the whole gun cleaned up very nice. I didn't think we'd be able to clean it up this good, but we ended up doing it, so. Um, everything's nice and oiled up. The barrel, like I said, I stole in the house, it's this shiny, but whatever. So that's a little rough spots, but we can fix that. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and actually put the wrap on. This is supposed to be a shotgun wrap, so I'm assuming it should work for a rifle. I just didn't wanna put this on my shotgun. I don't know how it's gonna look. So I figured they would look very nice in the pellet gun though. So this is why I'm putting them here. This one was the cheapest one I could find. It was like 20 bucks. So, so it's just a real treat. I don't really know what. It doesn't say the pattern it actually is, but it's a real treat camo. It's the original camo. I guess if you if you want to call it that. So first off, we got everything dried up very good. Make sure there was no wet spots. Just kind of find a little wet spot right here, but it should be good. So, we're going to do first is I guess take this on the box. So, I still haven't seen how in the world to use this. It said to use an exacto knife, but I don't have an exacto knife, so I just got this knife. So it's, it's the littlest, strongest knife I can find. Didn't want to get the elements because it would be too flimsy because this is a vinyl wrap, and if you know anything about vinyl, it's very, it's almost like plastic, I guess, but thin. It's like this stuff, honestly. It should come out. Right. Okay, so we got a bunch of little pieces and stuff. Alright, let's see. I really hope this fits in this gun. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so we got a nice little thing. Alright. Right stock. Alright, yeah, this this yep. I'm measuring everything I'll make sure it fits before I start putting it on here. Okay, so this is perfect. It's too big. It's too big right here, too. <laughs> it's too big right here, too. So, and then we get two logos included and only one antler logo. Oh, um, this is important. This is what this looks like. I don't know if y'all can see how big y'all can see this, but that's the camo pattern and has everything in it. So, to start off. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to wrap first. So we're going to start off with a stock. So we're going to start off with. Okay. So. Hopefully this doesn't get wet. I don't know how you tell the left stock. I guess this is the left one. Yes, yeah, this is the left one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and peel this vinyl sticker off. I'm going to try to get as good of an angle as I can for everybody. So what we're going to do is. This is the left stock sticker. Go ahead and peel it off. Go ahead and place it right over. Mm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to wrap the whole gun if I can. Okay. This one's not very sticky. I think mean, that's why it was 20 bucks. Alright, so we're gonna.
take everything down. Because after making some cuts here pretty soon. I'm gonna try to cut this out, I don't know how good it's really gonna work, but Wrap the whole thing. Yeah. This is a lot harder than it looks. Um. Can we actually cut this? If we can cut this, I can get this perfect. Next off, we're gonna do is probably gonna be a little hard, but so this is the end of the stock about right here. We leave a little bit of overlap just for in case we mess something up, which probably will happen. But why we have extra? Okay. So now we now it's time for the blow dryer. Okay, so we go ahead and plug this into the extension extension cord. So see if it, if it, if it even works. Pretty hot. I don't think I could have picked much higher of a pellet gun to try to wrap. It's got all these little things in it. These little indentions and stuff. Let's see if we can get this thing. Alright guys, so we are finally wrapping up this project. We still have a few more touch-ups, but overall, so we have one more of these little panels left that we can actually use to touch up. Um, overall, we need one touch-up strip on the barrel probably. Okay, so this is about the final deal with the wrap. We need to cut these, this thing right here, and we need to get some of these attached a little bit better with the blow dryer, but... We're going to do that after this, but for now, we're going to go ahead and throw on the scope. Just just see how it looks with the scope. Because right now, it kind of looks like a little bit of a different color. Because it kind of looks like a camel duct tape. But, I mean, it is what it is. It looks 
this is really the best color for actually hunting. It's the most real version of camo, except if you're hunting in the marshes. But it looks way better than it did before. I think if I got a different color, it would look very nice, but I, I still like the way it looks a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and see what's in here. Alright, the scope is big. Very big. So you get this stuff in here. If y'all want links to this, y'all can drop a comment down below. Or if y'all want, like I said, y'all can text me, DM me on Instagram at Ethan's All the Life Official. Or on Snapchat at Outdoor, at Outdoor Junkie with no T. Okay. So, get the hardware out, come on. Alright, there we go. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I didn't think I was gonna do this. Pellet guns are definitely one of the hardest guns to wrap. Just because of all. Alright, so. This gun did not have so many creases, it would have been about 10 times easier to wrap. It has so many of these little creases and all, it just makes it so hard. So, some of these. I may end up taking off the barrel wrap. I think I'm gonna do that. Even though that was the main part I actually needed the wrap. That's, I don't know, for some reason that seemed to be the hardest part to actually wrap. But, I don't really know why, but, I'm going to go ahead and get this scope mount on, and then I'll get back to y'all once we get this whole thing mounted. Um, it, it's looking, it looks pretty nice so far, just definitely need to trim it, but I'm going to do that after we turn the camera off, just because of how long it's probably going to take. But, I'm going to go ahead and put the scope on, I'll get right back to y'all. Now, I actually got sidetracked, <laughs> but anyways, um, we went through three different mounts, and we finally found one that fit. Uh, I think these are original mounts because these are too big and they wouldn't grip the thing, which is why this is ripped. But I think it actually looks better with a little bit of the barrel showing. This is how it ended up. I still got to trim the side, which I will do. Just after the video, because it's going to take a while. Anyways, um, turns out pretty good, actually. A little better than I thought, because whenever the full cam was on, it was just too much. This is why I trimmed it to where you can see a little bit of the barrel. You all see the scope. The scope's actually really nice. I just have to slide it in. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this or any other kind of videos, make sure you drop it in the comment section down below. Um, you know, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.